continuous integration yes the most uh, important and the most awaited uh, lecture that we're going to discuss about uh, right now is on continuous integration right so continuous integration is basically a process uh, which whenever a developer performs uh, a check-in on its code right uh, and he uh, check into the shared repository right the whole project is automatically built and tested in in order to find uh, the integration issues right now you might be wondering uh, why a continuous integration process is required for it i mean this can be uh, done manually as well as in whenever a developer checks in uh, the code the code uh, goes to a centralized repository and then uh, tester checks uh, check out that build and he can perform testing on that particular build right so if uh, like if, if tester has to do all the testing at the initial phase right uh, let's say the tester has to be sync up with the developer whenever developer checks in the code at the same time a tester has to be present over there to test that particular build let's say uh, uh, we have uh, uh, a centralized uh, repository which is uh, at some different location and our developers are sitting at some different location even the testers uh, are not in in, in touch with developers they are uh, sitting in some different remote location that the uh, developers are in US and testers are in India right so now uh, if you talk about uh, like uh, the current software development process as soon as a developer uh, builds a module he checks in the code and the code goes to the centralized repository now at the same point of time when he is uh, integrating two modules he wants uh, that uh, to check whether the build is stable or not now he will actually going to do the unit testing of the code at his end but the integration testing will be done either by the testing team right or there should be a team which will actually gonna uh, perform the whole integration test and then the final build is deployed onto the staging server or onto the production server right so if we if we do this thing uh, manually then we uh, need to wait for the next testing team uh, to come uh, and test the entire build then give a go ahead and then uh, developer uh, uh, like if the build is successful then they're gonna give a go ahead if the build is not successful then again developer will uh, fix uh, the issues that are there in the current build and then he again checks in the code and then he'll again wait for the testing team to get it test right so in order to automate the entire process the continuous integration comes into the picture right so continuous integration system reveals uh, the integration issues at very early stage right so uh, let's say if i uh, gonna take an example how the entire ci uh, continuous integration system works. Let's say uh, as a developer, I checks in the code to a local repository. So I might be using Git uh, for doing all my check-ins to the local repositories. Once all the check-ins are done, I'll finally uh, move that particular build to the uh, centralized repository. It, it could be a GitHub repository, right? It, it, it is actually a remote repository. So where all all the developers at the end of the day will uh, gonna check in their code, push their code to the remote repository, right? And then there is a CI server which is actually uh, tracking the uh, remote repository. Uh, let's say if there are any any changes, any any new code added or any changes or modification made to the existing code, then that CI server will actually uh, gonna perform. Uh, the compilation of that code, perform the unit testing of the code, uh, execute the regression testing of, of, from that code and then it will gonna publish the reports, right? Basically, compiling, unit testing, regression is not uh, a task of a configuration, uh, sorry, uh, the CI system, right? It's, it's not the task of continuous integration this, uh, like system these tasks will be uh, performed by your build automation tools itself that is maven 
so maven or and that will be integrated with uh, the continuous integration system uh, to perform uh, this whole task uh, as an automated task right so uh, the benefits of using a continuous integration system is that it uh, uh, as a whole project it continuously integrates the whole project thereby eliminating the integration phase so uh, we need not to wait for entire build to be integrated and then we need to test it right so the issues are catched at a very early stage a very early stage the developer comes to know whether the build is stable or not and it also reduces the time uh, for debugging um, as the issues are caught at the very early stage and it also helps the product to uh, uh, deliver more uh, rapidly right so uh, these are uh, some of the benefits uh, of the continuous integration system and uh, the ci uh, that we are going to talk about uh, in this uh, lecture is jenkins there there are many other continuous integration tools available in the market one is jenkins and hudson team city team foundation server right there there are many ci tools available and which uh, like most popular is jenkins and jenkins is a free continuous integration tool which can be configured and used very easily right so we're going to talk about jenkins in this module so jenkins uh, is an open source continuous integration tool or you can say server which is used to automatically build the whole project whenever it's needed right so jenkins uh, was originally uh, created as hudson so earlier jenkins was known as hudson but after the dispute with oracle uh, this project is separated by the open source community and they named it as Jenkins right so this is about the brief history of uh, Jenkins how Jenkins uh, was actually originated right now we're gonna see a couple of steps that is involved in installing and configuring Jenkins in order to configure Jenkins uh, I'll uh, I'll go to uh, Google and type download Jenkins. Right. This is the website of Jenkins, jenkinsci.org. So I'll go to this particular website and I'll download it based on my operating system. I'm on Windows at the moment, so I'll be downloading this latest and the greatest one, right? Once I download this, uh, it will gonna come like this. I've already download it it will gonna give me a var file and a var file will look something like this right now the next step is to uh, start this var file as in uh, like we have started uh, like we have seen how to start a jar file right uh, so same way we're gonna do it with uh, this var file as well so I'll uh, go to this particular location and I'll open up CMD and I'll go to CD softwares and the next one that I'm gonna type Java hyphen jar and I'll give the name Jenkins software I'll press enter and it will actually gonna start the Jenkins services on my machine on my local machine right so let's wait for a few seconds and let uh, the Jenkins comes up successfully yes uh, the process has been started so what i'm gonna do i'll uh, type over here localhost 8080 by default jenkins will gonna start on the localhost 8080 right so we're gonna wait for a few seconds uh, till the time it is uh, completely up and running let's see still loading all the jobs all plugins there are many things that we need to configure in this uh, Jenkins so let it open and then we'll gonna take a look at it so 
So in the initial, uh, it will gonna take some time to launch uh, the ten things. So now it is fully up and running. So, uh, but over here, if you can see, please wait. Well, all right. So this is your ten things. Initially, uh, you're not gonna find anything over here like this project. I have this project. I'll just delete the project, and you're gonna see a blank uh, place over here. This is uh, the very first. Uh, look of your Jenkins right now you can do couple of things uh, in order to configure the Jenkins what you need to do the very first thing you're gonna go to this link that is manage Jenkins right couple of plugins that uh, you would be needing in order uh, to perform uh, the continuous integration task right so the very first thing you will go inside this uh, manage plugins links right and here uh, you're gonna find uh, all the available uh, plugins that can be integrated there are uh, there are hundreds of plugins of different service providers that are available over here we might not be needing uh, many of them uh, we might we will be needing uh, plugins based on our requirement right uh, let's say uh, uh, i have already chosen some of the plugins uh, that i require i require plugins mainly for uh, github right so i have already configured the plugins if you uh, see uh, the installed plugins on my machine so i have see aunt aunt and uh, maven plugins uh, you need not to install it manually they'll actually uh, gonna come along with uh, Jenkins itself, right? They are already installed on your Jenkins. The only plugin that you need to install is one is your Git plugin and the Git client plugin. This is one of the plugin that you need to configure, right? And you can configure this uh, CVS plugin uh, as well, right? So, so this is the one that you need to configure and rest maven is already configured with jenkins okay maybe uh, yeah this is these are the two that i have configured you can see the uninstall option over here and rest where you don't see any uninstall option these plugins are already uh, configured so the cvs is also configured you need not to configure this as well right so once uh, you uh, install it once i mean uh, this can be installed by uh, going on available and you can search for the plugin over here you can filter it you can say get or get github plugin uh, like like the plugin that i have already selected just click on that and uh, it will give you an option install without start or download now and install after a restart you can choose any of these options and you can get this plugin installed on Jenkins right once these are installed it will show inside the installed list right now go back uh, to manage Jenkins again right and click on configure system this is one time setup that you need to do in order to configure Jenkins right now very first thing uh, it will gonna create a home directory uh, at this location. This is by default C drive user selenium. You'll find dot Jenkins folder over here, right? Now the next thing you need to configure your JDK, right? JDK as in Java Development uh, Toolkit, right? So click on this and give the path of your Java home, like I have already given it, right? So wherever you have installed your Java right just give the jdk folder over here and give any any name to this jdk like i have given jdk 106 right this is the very first thing you need to do next is to uh, like i'll be integrating git uh, git github and maven uh, with uh, the jenkins right so i'll be uh, using git over here there are other uh, version control systems as well available like svn is available uh, there are other as well available you can configure them as well but right now i'm going to work on git so i'll be adding a git uh, git uh, path to the git executable over here so git executable uh, when you have installed git it has actually uh, created a exe file inside your program files you're gonna find git over here and then uh, inside the bin 
we're gonna find uh, get.exe file over here somewhere over here right so this is the path that you need to give over here right and name you can give any again you can give any any name to this uh, file right then aunt uh, is configured by default you need not to configure it uh, you can add the ant environment variable and again uh, yeah you need to uh, uh, give the path of the aunt as well but we are not going to use aunt over here right now right so i'll just delete it for the time being and then maven installation you need to give the path where you have downloaded your maven maven i have downloaded inside c drive softwares and then uh, apache maven this is my maven so i'll give uh, the path up till uh, apache maven and then okay i'm not sure how i have given it okay i might have to Apache Maven over here. Okay, so I'm using this one. So I have given the path up here over here. This is my uh, Maven home path, right? So that I have also configured in my environment variables. This is the one that you need to provide over here, right? So this will be picked up automatically. Your uh, Maven repository that is uh, being created on the .m2 folder. This you can find in C drive uh, users. And this is the .m2 folder where all your Maven repository exists. So this is the path that's been picked automatically, right? And Jenkins location it is uh, always started on localhost 8080. If you configure it on a separate server on a separate machine, then you can provide some host name as well, right? Instead of localhost, so that also you can do, right? And then. Uh, this is your uh, CVS password. Password is uh, the Git password you need to provide over here for authentication, right? When you are checking in and checking out the code. So uh, Jenkins will be communicating uh, with your GitHub. So you need to provide the same password that you have provided onto your GitHub, right? <coughs> now these are one of the uh, like one-time setup that you need to do right rest things you can remain it as it is and apply uh, save click on save all these changes will be saved right and uh, you have actually done all the configuration that is required uh, for this Jenkins right now uh, next step is to create a new job a new continuous integration job so you will directly uh, gonna click on create new job and will build a freestyle software project you can choose any of these let's say you're building a maven project you're doing a multi config when you have multiple projects you want to uh, manage them you can use this as well right but here we're going to use uh, a freestyle software project so i can give any name to this project uh, let's say i give it a name as uh, what name should we give uh, we have created uh, a project for git i can use the same project so it is there 